In our everyday lives, we're always in contact with large numbers of people, and most of the time, many of them are less than a meter away from us, or the equivalent of one large step. But one day, a pathogenic virus appeared, the COVID-19, transmitted almost entirely by droplets, produced by coughing and sneezing. If a person who contracts the virus continues to move around in a normal way without taking any precautions, they will contaminate all of those with whom they come into contact, be it by touching, by sneezing or by coughing. If the contamination is not stopped, it will eventually cause an epidemic. So, to slow down the risks of this happening, safety barriers have to be set up, beginning with our own individual safety barriers. There are three simple ones. First, wash your hands with soap several times a day for at least 30 seconds each time. And don't forget to wash between your fingers. If there is no water, then a hand sanitizer should be used. Second, increase the distance between people you meet and make sure you remain at least two meters apart, or the equivalent of two large steps. This will protect you from the droplets produced by sneezing and coughing, and it's known as social distancing. And third, wear a mask. This is a very effective way of reducing the spread of infected droplets. But if you are wearing a mask, please remember to also respect the two meter distance. These individual barriers are essential steps in the collective fight against COVID-19. They are part of the collective stage three measures needed to combat a surface and airborne spread virus, namely mass confinement of people in their homes and an end to free movement of people. Hospital staff and health workers are doing everything possible, but it's also up to us to do all we can to help reduce the spread of the virus and to limit the burden on hospitals and in particular intensive care. Together, we can all save lives and we can beat the COVID-19 virus.